I'm going to, I did a video earlier. What I do is I hold my videos to the ne next day. I did a video earlier where I was losing my voice. So I want to go back to what I was talking about. So that video is going to be called the attack. And I'm going to put, um, as a thumbnail, a comment someone left who said he's been watched as a child and he thinks it's about pedophilia. I think it's the same. In answer to a question I put on Twitter about what Jeffrey Epstein was researching, I got an answer back about AI. And I think what this technology does is allow predators to create a way of drawing their victims to them in a way that you don't realize. So I keep telling people who are victims of this voice to skull, V2K technology, don't trust it. Because what it does, it's about winning your confidence. It's about getting you to trust that something told me or I heard something. Meaning what they wanted to do this to me in 2016, they thought it was always done the way they decided to do it. It wasn't. And they said it was done to me, but they were just talking out loud. And that's what I'm saying. What happened in 2016 till now is it was... It wasn't just talking out loud. They did something physically to me. And as they kept trying to make it happen, and that's part of what I'm saying when someone's trying to make something happen, you know, those types of people. And they're upset because I talk to mainly my audience, I feel in my head, the audience in my head are women. And I'm talking to us the way we know how to explain something. If men watch, I'm glad. But as a woman, we understand those types of people, you know, when you go out and the guy is trying to make it happen with you. But young women, we don't know that. So when I was a kid, I wouldn't have understood what that was. So I'm telling women out there, explain this to younger women. Explain this to your children and your boy children, too. That there are people out there trying to make it happen. And what they're doing is using this voice to skull V2K to gain your trust, you know. And what they said to me, and again, it seems like this isn't from the people who did this according to them years ago. Because years ago, they would know how they did it. So what they did was they had, they just said three-pronged strategy. I don't talk that way. Again, I don't understand a voice to skull that's supposed to imitate me not talking the way I speak. So they admit that they were giving me the wrong information, wanting me to mispronounce words or speak in a different way. But part of why I think they did that is because when you're a young person, again, I haven't been around these people in decades, but when you're a young person and you're being, you're growing you want to think that people around you who are older and more mature know what they're talking about. It isn't until you get old enough to say these people don't know what they're talking about that you begin to see that they're trying to make it happen. You understand me? So they keep saying I'm dying. Guess what? If I'm dying, it's because of them. I wasn't dying before them. I clearly wasn't because I was recruited to do what I had been doing. So they keep trying to twist. Again, it's a lot of twisting and distorting and, and rearranging. And it's, they're working too hard. They're too, they keep trying to make it happen. It's too much. And when people do that to you, you understand what they're doing. So they keep, now they're going back to things that happened in the 1980s. I was in high school from 87 to 1991. Who cares? Who cares? What does... 1987 or 1980 have to do with today but they're trying to make it happen and so why I think they created this AI voice to skull technology to use on me when I was in my 40s I'm 50 now is because they probably were using it on young people you know a young girl would think oh this guy likes me something told me I should get in the car with him something gave me a feeling that's my point you can't listen to that. The first thing they wanted to do to me is move me out of my environment. Big mistake. First mistake. The second mistake was trying to make me feel like I'm so beautiful. I'm not. The last big mistake was trying too hard 
trying just so hard. So I'm going back to selling on eBay and they said, oh, you can't promote your stuff on eBay. Why can't I? So the, the other big thing they said is I'm supposed to be, again, according to their personality assessment, someone who doesn't want to make money, yet I am also the person who works in sales. That would mean I would have some sort of mental problem. So what they were saying was they thought, again, their thought process, that I would work in sales to help other people make money. Why would I work in sales to help other people make money? That doesn't make sense. Again, their thought process would be to create a fantasy world around me. And part of why I keep going back to their fantasy world is when they were talking about me wanting to to be an actress, yet I spent, went straight through school from kindergarten through college. Obviously, I wasn't part of their fantasy world. And the other part about that is, you know, they, they keep saying, things because they want to be a part of my life. That in and of itself is what I'm saying. A predator wants you more than you'll ever want the predator. And they can't accept that. So every time they talk about things from like, oh, didn't this happen in 1980? Didn't No, it didn't happen that way in 1980, 1990, the 2000s. If it happened that way, I wouldn't be in, in this situation where I can tell you on camera, publicly, like I'm talking to millions of people around the world. They're like, we didn't know YouTube videos were seen by everyone around the world. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm on it. I wouldn't be in this position where I can do this if things happened the way they wanted it to happen or thought it would. Because by the time predators get you to a point where they're running you out of, of, of everything you worked hard for, usually they have something they can discredit you with. They have something on you. And what I'm trying to say is let's get to a point before we get to let the predators get that far. So clearly they didn't have anything on me. So what they're going to do is silence me. So they would, didn't want me to have an accent because by me having an accent, it means they can't change my identity. Meaning the Shamiga you met in 1980 something was me with the same accent. They can't now say, oh, I'm some other person. They can't, they can't replace me with someone else or use an AI voice that that's what they were trying to do. Like in my apartment, I'm, I wake up to all this talking and I'm wondering what is this about? Because they were trying to use someone else to pretend to be me. But also it means that I've had a lot of positive interactions with people. And I think that's what gets lost in this, all of this, the positive, but they don't want the positive. They want to make me into a fantasy person. I'm, they said something about going to a Jesuit university. That doesn't make me a Jesuit. I went to a university so I can make money. I'm not, you know, what a part of this is, is, is not clicking. So they said, well, we're too black. You must be, you must be too black or I'm too not black or you're too not black or something isn't connecting that as a black person speaking to another black person, they got it wrong. I have a lot of black connections in my life because I'm black. I don't know. Maybe that's why. And we haven't had these issues. These people who are liars, they're complete and total liars. This accent that they wanted to change is black. I let you guys hear the college speech. It was black. Then it was a speech on black history month. <laughs> but, but again, because they're liars, they think that people will believe them over me. No, they're predators. You don't believe predators because there's something in us psychologically that can tell when there is danger. I don't care what color, shape, form you distort yourself and come in the form of. People can sense danger. And if I'm saying to people, waving my hands, straining my voice, yelling, danger, 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 and other people are doing the same thing, then there must be danger. So trying to manipulate me using race won't work. There are too many black people who know I'm black. Too many white people know I'm black. And they've accepted me for that and wouldn't want me at 50 years old to not be who I am. Because that is what the AI.